Yo, what's happening, fam? You go kind of quarters behind the scenes, I got in front of the scenes, on the scenes. Anyway, what's up with it? What's up? welcome, 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 welcome. We're going to get to the intro in a minute. As you see, we got to get our technical department together. We got the technical department together. Now we got to get the technical department together. Um, okay, that's there. Yeah, we need that. We always need that. Everybody get your... Uh, Everybody put get that in effect. We always need that. Start it all. <laughs> always need uh, get that shit out. Get that shit out of our system. Get, get, get that yeah, out the way. Like, this is the get out. Get nah, that, we get, get it out, out the way. Five, four, three, two, one. Action. <laughs> shit, I actually need that, that little few seconds. That's good. That, that, yeah. that, 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 that gave me some time. I like that. Check the video out. Check the video out. So I can look like each white folks Just to get some assistance Because the brutality in my neighborhood is getting persistent Cause you wanna harass me, yeah And if I talk back, you really beat me down fast, G Just like Rodney King But if you try it with me, it's gonna be a different scene Try to pull me over on the top row Tell me to reach for my license So you can let your nine explode Until my white shirt turns red from your land because you like to see my blood shed And I know you wanna put me in the coffin, sir But what you feel ain't going out like that Mr. Officer, put it off, sir Why you wanna put me in the coffin, sir See, I've been living in this neighborhood for too long For you to try to change things and run me from my heart This time, that's not how I saw it Put it off, sir Now I'm gonna get my nine little baby that's a video version. Like I know. I know. Tighten that up. Your pistol and your bag. Let's get it. Let's crank it. Yo, yo, yo. 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 Yo,
with your man 2K Dan. Don Gotti Nash. It's your man Step Love. And Savage Taz. What's happening? What it do? What it do? We it back. Do? We hey, in the motherfucking oh, building. What's good, everybody? We in the flesh. What's good, YouTube? Savage Taz just jumped Facebook. in on, on, on the Instagram. Pornhub. Everybody. Spake wire. Tuning in <laughs> to P-Y-O. Yeah. yeah. Once again, yes, quick to the uh, new number up there, bro. It's, 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 it's just our regular show. Oh, it's under construction. Under yeah, construction with our okay. telephone. That's cool. I said, so if you don't, if you can't get the chance to call inside, but uh, no, no, I still, oh, just still got yeah. Oh, that's yeah, back to yeah, the old track. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. okay. two four zero three three nine five eight one five. And it's on the live. If you if you if you um happen to click on this, you see that number on the live. Call in. Let us know what you think. Two four zero three three nine five eight one five. And for those that uh couldn't see the television screen. I, I think YouTube is over there. Not YouTube, but Instagram. They can see. They can see. They can see. Yeah, they can hear the music. Yeah, they can hear the music. All right, so well, basically that was uh, Ghetto Boys, Crooked Officer. That's about eight um, years ago. Eight years ago. Shit, longer than that. Shit. Yeah, yeah, that, that's somebody shit. posted that eight oh, years ago. No, I'm about to say, no, that's, no, that's, 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 that's that shit. That shit was 20 years ago. That shit was 20 plus years ago. So, with that being said, the fact that we are coming in to Crooked Officer. Which was done by the Ghetto Boys around the time, right? A little King. bit after the time of Rodney King. Which that was the early night, um, midnight. It was way after. Way after Rodney King. Yeah, way after. That um, was '96. The significance of us coming into this song in the video, because there's some people out there who has never heard Crooked Officer, probably never seen the video of Scarface. See, they probably never seen a lot of black artists. Mike. Doing yeah. songs and lot, making things about police yeah, officers. There's a lot of shit that you guys and, and have and never seen. System. I've never seen a video, but I actually seen from yeah, the, the, the and, and the video is uh of course they, they you know they toned it down for TV because a lot of the verses was was changed, the hook was changed, and the video it says check Mr. Right, officer, yeah, Mr. Check, officer. Check the original version. Yeah, that's only in the in the original original song is Crooked Officer. Yeah, check you know check the uh original uh context, ghetto boys. Uh I can't I, I I don't, I don't even know which one this this album is, but you can. To look death at do his part, I think. To death do his part, yeah. He's right. Um, but anyway, oh, so hold on, yeah, yeah. To death do his part, right? Yeah. That's the one without Willie. Really What's up? Facebook. Is he, he to death do his part or six feet deep? Um, either way, um, get our boys check it out. Uh, it's called Crooked Officer. Um, always, and as you see, it's been Crooked Officers. Um. Welcome to our podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Um, he don't fuck your opinion. We always handle the toughest topics, sports, entertainment, media, news, what the fuck is going on here, out of the box, everyday relationships between man, woman, and child. We conduct our own little forum on what the fuck is going on with the world. Um, and we give our opinion. And you can always give yours, but sometimes it might be fuck your opinion. And if you want to give your opinion, it's 240-339-5815. There you go. Because some people like to be heard. Some yeah. people don't, don't want to be heard. To talk to them, you love to talk some to people them. just like to fucking talk. Right. Some people sit at home and listen to their self talk. And that's not cool. Because sometimes, uh, and, and listen, sometimes, sometimes you got to talk to yourself. Talk yeah, to yourself. Yeah, sometimes. Some, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Depends yeah. on what you talk to yourself about. Shit, I be talking to myself like a motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> when it becomes your present conversation, <laughs> conversation more than with other people. Have, I don't you know, answer, but sometimes I'm talking you like have a motherfucker. Hey. Conversation with yourself, you can't talk to somebody I, I find sometimes that the best conversations come within you. Yourself and yourself. You gotta find your zine. I mean, yeah, that's that is true. You just you just can't answer yourself. Yeah, you just gotta talk. Just let that shit. Right. That's what I'm let saying. that shit flow. You can't be like, yeah, man, I'm fucked so up. So it's good right? to communicate with your inner player, but you to a certain point. Yeah. When your inner player starts telling you a little bit more of what's going on in your day in the third person, you might have an issue. <laughs> yeah. Um. But anyway, getting back to the ghetto boys, crooked officer. Um. I'm sure everyone's heard about uh, George Floyd. Um. A poor, unfortunate death again. At the hand of law enforcement in uh, Minnesota, where they also had the Philando Castro shooting. Remember, the guy was in the car, told the police he had a permit to carry, was reached Reach for and got his shot. permit and got shot in his car. That, was, that wow. cop, that cop, was uh, acquitted. He was found that he didn't commit any uh, crime or wasn't heinous. Now, also in Minnesota, it was a cop. I think his name is Muhammad. Uh, his, uh, it's, it, he was a brother. He was a police cop woman that was uh, from Australia, you know, from a European descent. She came up to his cruiser, startled him, he shot her, she died, he got 12 and a half years. 
Muslim brother. That was a police officer in Minnesota, Minneapolis. What's up, K? Um, what's up, Luigi? Now, what's, up, what's, up, what's your life like in Harley Meeks? What's, what's good? Up, two days, uh, two days ago, we have officer. Let me get this guy's name correct. Thanks for joining. His his name is. Uh, I know it's Chavius. I'm sorry. Sometimes I got going to the notes here. No, why are you camera away? That was just. Oh my God! I got turned. I think I might. Nah, yeah. it, it was just the, the angle of the joint. Nah, you're not facing the other TV, bro. Yeah, you got. I think I just ball. hit that button. Yeah, I, I don't there you go. You see, you only got it on the stuff. I don't let people see us, man. Nah, I always have it on y'all, man. Yeah, he can. I don't know if you can see all my brother line. Anyway, um, Pretty Ricky on the George side. Floyd was a uh, black man that was pulled over in the city of uh, Minneapolis because he had Minneapolis because he had warrants for fraudulent checks. Okay. Um, traffic stop went completely out of control as it always when officer I think his name is ah, I'm trying to find it. I'm sorry, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I think his last name is Chavius, but they pulled him out the car. They basically the officer is seen and recorded. With his knee directly into the man's neck. What is the most egregious part is he had his hands in his pockets at the same exact time when he when he uh, doing this terrible ordeal, and he basically just killed him right there. I mean, he cut it, broke his uh, windpipe, cut off his egg, um, way, and they basically, you know, after he was incapacitated and responsible, then they tried to look as if they were giving the man some kind of help or. Um, I mean, dude had his hands, 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 hands in his pocket. Yeah, he had yeah. his hands in his pocket. It Resuscitation. Just, just, um, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry, John. No, no, go ahead. I just was. Just but yeah, he was. Uh, I'm trying to find this officer's funky ass name for y'all, but I can't. His name, man, man, you don't need to respect for right, his name. Yes, man. His man. Name. Officer no, he know. He know. His name is Officer, officer Pimpley Larry Pimpley. M. Chauvin. Shaver. You need to give him that much um, right. But no, but this is what he needs. Because people need to know that Officer Derek M. Shaven, who also had a peace protest at his house in which 80 armed and unarmed police officers showed up to put themselves as a barricade between peaceful protesters and this man who was being protested outside his home. We're going to get into that. But um, Officer Derek M. Chavin, now I just want to give you something here. <clears throat> He was, um, he murdered George Floyd, May 25th, 2020. Um, he basically had a list of complaints, over 18. One, he uh, was put on leave in 2011 for inappropriately police shooting of Alaskan, of Alaskan Native American Leroy Martinez. That was 2011. 2000, and, I'm sorry, 2008. He shot Ira Latrell Tolles, an unarmed black 28-year-old man, in 2008. So he just been fucking up color folks for a minute. And they've they been letting him. One of the mm -hmm. He was one of the officers who murdered Wayne Royes, a Latino man with 16 bullets, forced into him a total of 42 shots. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. So he already got some shit on his He got car. bodies. What's up, right. Yeah, 2005. Let's join him. Car chase, they ended up... Is a, a person's yeah. death. Him and another officer were charged in that. This dude has multiple. So then he gets suspended for that. He, how? He just was able to kill somebody. I mean, he could maybe. Was oh, he probably, he probably got some paid leave. Paid leave. Yeah, you know like investigation joint. But he, nothing happened. I mean, listen, this man has had a history, a history of almost twenty years. Because if you go back to two thousand five until now, that's like fifteen years of complete. Just tyranny, being a tyrant, I'm sorry, tyrant and complete lunacy and uh, uh, running the muck in the Minnesota Police Department. And they knew about it because these are charges that are brought against you, so it's public record. Mm -hmm. And they allowed this man to still be on the force and still end up doing what he did to poor George Floyd over a goddamn fraudulent check warrant. So, so he basically. Had he not doing it by himself. They they allowing him to do it. Right, and, and then so it's people know. that's over him that's seen this shit, and it's, it's like officials that was elected. They probably put most judges of them, they like, on a beat to it. So he probably his boss. Messed up neighborhood, so he can. The, the district attorney, Lurch. the district attorney just came out and said that they are hard, They're not um, going ahead completely with the murder charge because they seen other things in the t in the tape that cons that are consistent with murder. That was a district attorney. I just seen that yeah, yeah. before I left home. And I think attorney. I think that's one of one of your boy people, too, the judge. 
Who, Trump? Yeah, yeah, I think that's one of your boy peoples. Why, why you say No, no, that's just some Trump. He's a Democrat. Why, why you got him my boy? What the no, fuck you said? No, it was a lady that's, that, 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 I, that I seen. The, the one ice cream bro on the motherfucking, on the, on the table. This is my man. No, he ain't. No, it's a, it's, 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 it's not my man. The FBI. And now it's getting to a point where the FBI is going to have to be involved. You know what I'm saying? They, they, I think they are involved. They, they, they just, yeah, the family <laughs> just got involved. Yeah. You know, the U.S. attorney was the woman who said that, you know, because you know there was also a riot in Minnesota. Target. Uh, grocery stores, other businesses were um, houses, commu- a certain small community that was, I don't know how much part of the urban community was, were basically burned down a block and a half. Um, it was riots and everything has happened in the past two days in Minnesota. Hey, burn that motherfucker that night. Let, let me start. Listen, man. Um, you know, my th- our, our thoughts and prayers go out to George Floyd uh, family. Um, we don't know if he was a father. We don't. We you know he, he was a son, you know, to to some parents. The the basketball player Stephen Jackson. He said that was his yeah, man. He said 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 they like call them twin because they, they call each yeah. other twins. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, they call each other. Yeah, he said that was his so, man. So he so, was, he was actually fucked up about it. So listen, man. You know, unfortunately. We can't act like we're surprised about this shit no more. It's no more surprise. Oh, it's no surprise. It's, no it's, surprise. It's, it's, it's just, did you it's, see the police, the people, people went on the police? Just, we just, we just did a show a couple weeks ago, you know, where we told... Come on. The whole told, yeah, yeah, exactly. We told these motherfuckers to stop killing our people. Before we start right. around to know. And that's exactly what started happening. And then they, they, they have no remorse. Yeah, they have no remorse. I mean, for, for him, listen, and this is what I, you know... I mean... People they, always say... That when is it going to stop? Listen, and, and, and throughout history, any oppressive, oppressive, uh, I'm sorry, people that are being oppressed, only way they can get above their oppressor or get an evil ground is bloodshed. That's to be to be honest. Like for people to say, let's just stop the killing of black men by white. We don't have officers, the we, we don't have the leaders, man. That we, we, that the, we need. The, the type of. Uh, the type of relationship that we're going to have with police departments and police officers, it's, it's going to be skewed. Even if you're black, Latino, because people always say, yes, they are good cops. They are black well, police officers. Good cops are not stepping up. Well, but, some of them are. Well, some of them. I mean, it, it ain't so much that they can do. Because what I'm saying to be, but, like, I'm just going off of what Step was saying. Like, you can't be surprised. Like, this is going to happen until there is an ultimate reaction. And that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's no way of avoiding that. I mean, I just, to me, I'm going to let y'all take the floor. But when I keep seeing a lot of people saying, let's do this peacefully, y'all. Let's keep protesting. No, let's do it peacefully. No if no regime, I don't care even if it was the freedom of Jews. I mean, when you go back to the days of Christ, no oppressed people actually gained their full freedom unless blood was shed. But, but because that's, that's the only thing we respect. But that's this question. Who, who who's our leaders? Like, who do we look up to in these type of situations? Like, who, who can who? I, I think because it don't seem like we have anybody that we can actually. I have that voice. I think yeah. Obama's still our leader. But he had to put himself in the film more to But, no, but I mean, but he, no, he's he, in the he, field. He's in the field now. I think um, he is, but I don't think he leads. No, like, not, that, I, that, I don't think. Yeah, 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 we need more like a Malcolm yeah. X type leader. Like we, we need somebody that that, 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 get out that, that that's in front. That's like okay, you know what I'm saying? It, you, you feel? We had we had Colin Kaepernick. He he sacrificed, and, and they made they made a mockery of the guy. You know what I'm saying? They made a mockery well, of Kaepernick. I mean, that's what I, think of I mean, we had him, but they scared but, to leave because they scared of that backlash that they gonna get. Well, and I, I, and I don't want to knock Kaepernick, but he, he got he got a bag off of that. So, so you think he was doing it for the money? I mean, no. I mean, because he's been putting out quite. He put out a lot of stuff on social media. He's been always up front and spoke up for anything where he's felt like it's gonna be hot. Like, speak out on this though. Hey, uh, Pink Phoenix. Pink Phoenix said hashtag bloodshed, and um. I'm complete, I completely agree with Pink. I said they kind of already started. Like, you know what I'm saying? See, they've been rising all that. What, 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 hap- what happens when? No, you're talking about of a different kind. Like, but, but they what don't, happens you when you go burn down buildings, but when it starts being like directed at certain entities and certain people, and it's bloodshed of that nature, then because you can't just say, "Well, let's go burn down our own villages." Damn, they don't really care. But well, listen, this is the thing, though. What happens when when the police start getting hunted? That's blood. That's what I'm saying. You need a leader. We don't have a leader, man. We need one. 
We don't have nobody that's in the front, and that's that's where well, we. And that's, and that's where we. To well, me, that's where we've been. Old boy, and it has to be somebody us. that that can actually. But a lot of a lot of us are. It's have, it has to be somebody that's willing to sacrifice. You got Biden, but Biden, Biden, Biden said if you vote for Trump, you're not uh, black. A lot of us don't are torn between even knowing what leadership could mean at this point because we a lot of us were galvanized in the days of the civil rights because. We had to galvanize in that sense. Nowadays, we don't really. We have so many different individuals. Se- it's too many individuals. Right, right, we need right. a leader. Yeah. Right. It's, too, it's just too many but different no, sections where, no one where we not we, we not united. But so. we united on. But there's no one person that can do that because that that, that one the only difference now is you can talk a lot. You can talk right, easier right, now right, as right, far right, as getting like like, like 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 I can get my opinion to the world. Right. But at the end of the day, you think it would it would be possible for the leader to be a white guy? No, no, no. He can't be, be leader of our cause because he can be part of it. He can be part of it, but, but they always they're they're not, part of they gonna think he's doing it for the for the social part. Of it, it, it just ain't gonna they they, 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 they not gonna take him serious. They not gonna take it. It gotta it gotta be a um it could be a black it could be a white dude to help push it along, but it gotta be it got we need this man we need leaders man. Nah man, why? It can't be this man. How about Chinese dude? No, no, I mean I mean because listen. I'm not gonna lie. Is it serious uh, enough that we can't have a? Because see, this the problem. What? If it's a black guy, it's not gonna be taken seriously. They not only will it, will it won't be taken seriously, they gonna pick him apart. His own Most people. Definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Listen, but when one yeah, but it, right, that, 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 that listen, is deep. But this that's, that's what I'm saying. By you, know, uh, uh, you got you, you, you to be willing to sacrifice, man. But listen. Day. What I'm saying is our label of leadership is spread. We have different people that we follow for different reasons. That's back to what Steph was saying. And what Don was saying, when we had to put a united voices because we didn't have I that many people that we didn't have that many. But I think people. all the leaders now that would be considered leaders is they still worried about their bag. Not I mean well, some well, of them a lot, a lot of them still worried about their bag. So they can't lead, so they can't lead to the level of they ain't worried about his bag. I think so. No. He sacrificed, bro. No, it's, uh, it's people like he sacrificed, but he sacrificed. But 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 to be, be, be honest with you, he, was, he. I mean, I'm not trying to take the loss. Yeah, but he would have. He the shit was going on. It was going down anyway, bro. We all we already looked at the stats on that. But that's another. That's another. That's another. Listen, listen to what we said. What you said, Don. I understand, but. In leadership of today, we do have positive role models in the black community and people that push initiative. We have black politicians and people that push a great initiative. What I'm saying is to us to, to really need to collectively do it and put it on one person's shoulders, we don't really feel that need and necessity to do that anymore because we have so many different we, voices. We, we have to, though, man. It, so it can't, it can't, name somebody. Who, who can, who can, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying. Name somebody. I'm just saying. It can't got to be somebody that can rock, rock for us. How about The Rock? Can The Rock do it? No. No. The Rock couldn't do it? What? He ain't black enough? But because I mean, he, no, listen. I mean, The Rock is black. He's half black, half white. His he, wife is black. And, 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 and let's be honest. And, and he he, 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 he's going to be worried about the bag. But he has a lot of people going to be worried about that bag. Wait, what you mean? What Don means? Don's is like means like a more of a social revolution. It's like revolution type. Like we we take him to the streets. Revolution style pound on the pavement. Now, it was only a few people that really could do that, but we they lost start, faith in those. Start con- they start contradicting themselves because yeah, they, they, they used to show up, you know, right. like, like, we like, lost like, 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 Shopping and all them. Used real, to, uh, actually, actually, Shopping need their weight back, man, a little bit because he yeah, seemed he a little, see, like, it, seemed like, it seemed like he, he meant a little more business he when he was. Like, he looked like if he go outside, he, he might get blown over by the wind. Yeah, like there. I said, the, the guy, the Obamas of the world, you gotta think, it's only one Obama. So when you ask for the Obamas of the world, or even people like Don Lemon on CNN, uh, certain Don, Don, uh, Don Jones, you ask for people that we can visually see and know. Not that many people have that grassroots type shit because you know how many black dudes Keisha, in the Keisha, hood Keisha. really Keisha. know about really sit there and watching uh, Don Limit. You know what I'm saying? You got we got people like leadership roles like maybe LeBron James who does things to that nature. See, I don't, I don't think it could be somebody with a big name though. Like you said, it gotta be somebody that's mediocre. Hey, uh, no, it, it, big it, name. It, like you said, they were gonna be concerned pink, about their bag. It's the bag, man. I'm pink, telling you, Pink Phoenix said. John Boyega said, "Fuck money and fame." Yeah, and he was um the guy from Star Wars, the guy from Star Wars who's you know he's a part of that whole trilogy now, the newest trilogy. He came and said, "Look, I'm not going to let racist uh, supreme white supremacy or racist 
keep me in fear of losing what I have just because I want to speak out against the injustice. And he's a part of a, a brand. I mean, he's from overseas too, but he's a part of one of the biggest brands in history, Star Wars. So he's like, look, I'm willing to give up all the fame and all that shit if that's what it takes to back up my people. We have people that have voices, but like I'm saying, we have so many voices that it's hard to keep but it, on but, one but, person. But, but that's what I'm saying. It has to be one person. Well, how? That would be, well, what I'm saying is it's hard to do that when you have so many different avenues and people you can choose from. And they have to, they have to unite some type of it's way. It's also and, hard and, and, to do when you're being, when you, you know, when you're being crucified. And but it has to be somebody that's willing. It, 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 but, but it has to be somebody that's willing to take this, this um, sacrifice. That listen, like I said, Obama was the closest thing we got. But he's he. I he, think Obama he, can come back. He does. No, not I just brother. I just don't think he going. I don't think he's willing to take that. That. I mean, he didn't take it when he was in the uh, presidency. I mean, he can say he can say a little more. He can say a little more now because he's not president. Because he was actually his hand was actually tied. We need somebody to march. It had to be somebody that. You think it could be a woman that can. A black, black woman? woman, yeah, of course. Yeah, that was most ones that you know. If they, if they willing, I mean, if if, if she willing to take that sacrifice and, she, and, willing, to take, and, and, and willing to have them stones, stone, I mean, it's we had a black be. woman for that was gov- um Jesus, I can't. She was, the, I think, for the I governor of Florida. Florida. I'm sorry, governor of Florida. Um, I can't remember her name. We have the, the woman Keisha Lance Keisha Bob. We have black women that empower shit. Maxine Waters, people was following her all the way to the motherfucking promised that land. But what I'm saying is. Maxine Waters, she come out, you know, they call her the big, the great auntie, and she come out and speak and say certain things. Shit, you got Martin Luther King's Junior Junior. You got people that's still alive. That's a part of the revolution now. I'm just trying to figure where they at. But, but, but what I'm saying is they so many. But I'm, I, no, they're not silent. And, and, like, and like you say, and, and even though we don't have faith in no more, shop didn't just show up. Like, you knew they was coming. Like, like uh, when I was young. Yeah, like, like, you like they, 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 they used to pop. But, 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 you, but you realize that. But you need somebody like that, though. They got to. I mean, you got attorney, attorney Benjamin Crump, the guy who did Trayvon Martin. Um, all basically, a lot of the whole high profile killings of young black men. Attorney Benjamin Crump, he been on the front line for civil rights and everything since the days of Jesse Jackson and trying to speak up. What I'm saying is, in the generational gap, there's so many different avenues that people can take. It's hard to, to get. You got to think, in the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, 90s, it wasn't that much of a social media. So everybody yeah, I get had it. to gather I get it. and hear one you, voice. I think I know we can do it. Who? Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. I have to do it. Who gonna do it, man? Don Sun. Aw, oh, shit. The, the fuck out of here, man. The fuck <laughs> out of here. Oh, Don and Farrah True. Nah, son. Hey, hey, if he my son, Shikashi. who is he to you? Who is he? He ain't my nephew. Nephew. Nephew, cuz. Nah, he's not my nephew. 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 <laughs> Listen, man. But uh, anyway, listen, we Trey don't want to go take it too long in that. But listen, George Floyd is going to be is one of many. And one promise you, I promise you, R. R. P. Even, man, I don't R. even R. mean to say man. this with no malice. It's going to be more until there is no more, and that's what it's going to be. It's already going into that. It's going to go to that. I mean, listen, I'm not one of the people that's ready. You know what I would like to know or decide blood blood shit, But it's going to be. You know what I would love to know? What? I would love to know how many more. Black people have died by the hands of police even after Colin Kaepernick took this stand. Shit, at least a hundred. A hundred and a hundred? Shit, this is 40, 40 in the last, because somebody had made a little mural of it. It's I would love to, to know. I would love to look at the months. numbers. Look at the numbers. Hey, <clears throat> Don, Don Gotti Nash, hey, the, the, Kaepernick, the, the Kaepernick stand, I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. Cut it off. I'm, I'm good, but uh, I, don't, I don't know, man. It wasn't as strong as what. Don't but, hate but, no Kaepernick, dog. Uh, Kaepernick uh, uh, will whoop you. Listen, this, this would whoop me. The issue we'll with Colin Kaepernick was this. To I me. just, I, I mean, the issue with Colin Kaepernick was know. this. He did what <laughs> he had a point to to start. He had a, definitely he did he did start something that was important. But what Steph was saying was a lot of America and critics had a chance to tear so much away from him that his message kind of got lost and entangled a bit into but it. But just like what Jay-Z said, what's next? You know what I'm saying? You, you get new, and then they tore his ass Listen, down for that, but you got to be willing. George Floyd is what's next. What I'm saying is no matter how much Hollywood superstar support you give, 
peace always, always works, but it ha it's going to be after war. That's just my point. You know what I'm saying? There's not one civilization that has ever survived that did not have to fight for freedom. And, right. that's, and, and sad enough, people say, well, we need, and I'm saying this is white folks too. And I just think it just, it just we, we got to unite some, some way or another, man, and that we, we got to have a leader. A real, a, it, can't, it can't be too many different directions. At some point, that's the only way this shit going to move forward. Yeah, I mean, you had to look at that Democratic race. You know what I'm saying? We Even Cory Booker, we, people that's in politics that we could find or fill out, Roland Martin. There's a lot of people that try to start different movements. Shit, what, happened, what, 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 what happened to the NAACP, man? Like, they like, still in. I they mean, they still there, there, but... I mean, they there, but do it seem... I mean, I ain't even seen them. I just don't... I ain't even seen them. Like, 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 like Twitter used to speak out on stuff? But it's the NCAA... Is more in the politics now on the legal side more than what they had to be up front with on the others. And like I said, people, our, our opinions are so spread out that people don't have to focus. And that's a good point. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the NAACP? Well, if you were black back in uh, 20, 30, maybe 30 years ago, you had to go to black media social, I mean, black media outlets to find out what was black, what was going on with black. Now, you go on any guy's website. Shit is so scattered, you can come here and find your motherfucking information. Hey, Keisha Keisha said that uh, there are so many people that have a big platform, but they, they will not use it because they're afraid. I just feel like if I had the platform as some of these people, I would use it Facts. Fuck fame, fuck the money. Facts. Somebody Facts. had to step up and end this. Facts. And that's, well, what, I, that's hey, what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. We need a leader. Listen, somebody got somebody, have, somebody, somebody have, got to get off of the you back. You have people that are, yeah. I just think everybody is, is worried about so being what, politically. What do you want that person to now, do? Because my question is this. When Jay-Z said I think even, even, some, even somebody like Jay-Z. What, what does he have to do? What does he have to call for? What does he have to call for? What does he have to call for? I don't think what, I, what, I, what I just say, it's yeah, the bank. It's er, the er, bank. Er, er, everybody, 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 everybody's gonna move as, no, as, as, as everybody's gonna move what, as far as they, the bag. What revolution well, are you calling for? What do you want that person to call for? That's the question. This is what this is what we need them to call for. This is what we need them for. We need for them to sacrifice like Kaepernick did. When people sacrifice, right. when people sacrifice, you show. Then I agree with that. You give momentum to the cause. You you show people that you're not afraid. To give up your fortune, your fame, your money. It doesn't matter. Man, we, need, we need everybody to come together. See, I agree with the, the, the sacrifice. Oh, and that's what and that's why so I said sacrifice is key. What I'm saying is you saying sacrifice is saying sacrifice. What do you what what call to action do you want them to put? Whatever, whatever, whatever it takes, man. But until you actually get a fundamental point. It's going to be a mute conversation because you don't. We're not specifically asking them to sacrifice to everything for one thing. But listen, listen, but, 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 Jamie but, Fox, it's a lot of stuff. But I'm saying they're not willing. But, 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 but I'm saying they will. They, yeah, they're willing to say something and, and speak. But I'm saying they're not willing. They're not willing to put. They're not. They're not willing to put. They're not. They're not willing to put. What do you want? Do you want them to go and throw a brick through a window? What are we asking them to do? Hey, you got to right. Michael Max, we already, we already go said. back to Michael Max. Listen, we already said what we want to do. Hey, if it take if it take a brick through the window, if it take if it, if it take, bloodshed, I mean, it, it is what it is. Okay, but, okay, that's what, and that's all I'm asking because if it's a bloodshed, that's something we gonna have to follow as a people. But people already fought. If you pay attention on social media. It been so many people fighting police now because they get fed up with just getting harassed yeah. by the police. No, listen, from, I'm not saying the listen. last past day from Trinidad, they just fought the police. Listen, to it was out. Uh, I think Tennessee or Texas, they were just fighting the police. Listen to what I'm saying. It's bloodshed against the police. Listen, people what I'm tired. saying is when you act right, that's a hey. And honestly, honestly, it will take people, but. But you start to, I'm gonna tell you another thing that make voice. To, yeah, you need a voice, united to go out and take them and take and, and take no it, 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 it hey you could take money away too to, to, to stop a lot of shit too. Motherfuckers say, hey, we're not spending our money on such and such. But no, don't, listen, it's stars that right now on social media that are calling for a day when black people together all together don't spend money. Yeah, stop it. I mean, it's take, stop. It's, uh, uh, Eddie Griffin, like I said, Eddie uh, Take your money. Not, and, you know Eddie Griffin. Yeah. Uh um uh, Jamie Foxx. It's stars out there right now. I mean, like I said, you got John Boyega. He just said, fuck the fame. It's whatever. Yeah, but it's the thing. He's saying it. 
had he act out on it. Listen, he he just said it. He can, only thing he can do at this point is say, look, I don't give a fuck about endorsement. He just came and said, basically, I will not be bullied. I'm going to protect my look, people. Look, 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 that's, that's one person. That's, yeah. But that's, that's the person we, we need to get behind. You see what, what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying to Don. When you say we need one person, we have that one person now. The point is, do we rally around that person we, or not? The thing is, the, the thing about yeah, but in you, our culture, we got to see that that person's serious. We're not going to take him serious until he acts out on Yeah, but, you, but, but, but that, what do you we all, we all We all going in circles with this. Listen, we all saying the same shit, kind of. We agree. We know what we need. But we need somebody with a stronger platform to just act out, s- sacrifice, and we gotta back them, right? And then I'm saying, people, when you say act out, we have to back. That's like telling your child, "I want you to go." You have to tell somebody specifically what you want them to hey, do. Hey, let's take out. Let's, let's take our money. I mean, nobody really comes with those like Take our money and spend our money over here instead of spending it here. Let's take our money away. Let's take. Let's do this. Let's do that's that. That's something we. And, and that's but, a, but, but that's no, a start. But I'm just saying that's what, that's. I'm saying I ain't saying that's something. I mean, we could do that. But we, if we got everybody, somebody leading the charge because we can do listen, it. A lot of our black entertainers were our people that put their money in to black causes, to causes with people that's poor that don't. But have. you know, you know, one of the biggest problems with black folks. They don't support each they other. Support that's what that's what I'm saying. Right? We gotta unite. And when I when I say when I say have a leader, we got but we gotta all we gotta take our we got everybody gotta take their own the differences and put it yes. together. And that's why I say, yeah, you can have a different it's just like it's just like different households. You got this household, you got that that household, that household, somebody but, but if everybody comes yeah. together but see, when, you talk, calls, but when you talk about household, right? Yeah. It can't just be the black household. Yeah, we gotta it has yeah, to be you the need brown that too. household. The it needs white, to be the Spanish, the white. Everybody has, has to come. come it, can't it can't just, just be, be black, black against blue. It can't. But, but listen, when you're saying, yeah. but what I'm saying is, when you add, but it got to start here first. Celebrities, gotta start with black. When you ask black celebrities to sacrifice everything, well, they ain't got to be to go to a cause that be that's, that's basically becomes black versus blue. You know what I'm saying? Or minorities versus the system. If you want to make it yeah. even a bigger cause, I, um, then it's gonna be that. But, but you know what? Like I said, I don't, we got other stories. Yeah, we just, right let's move on from this topic, but. <laughs> Let's give this brother George Floyd a little three, uh, three four second moment of silence. Put our fist in the air, man. Got you know, and, and, and rest in peace, George Floyd. To everybody who was uh, been taking losses, man, because we getting tired of it. There's no sense of uh, getting. Listen, there's no sense of getting all frustrated like I was in the past couple shows about them keep killing our people because they're going to keep doing the shit. Yeah, like they're they going to keep doing bloodshed it. Bloodshed is the only, only way. Bloodshed is the only way. It's, 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 we're not promoting it, so don't put us a on fist no for a fist. Neo, but we try and tell you, listen, if you look and check through our history, that's what it is. So, moving on to the next story. Um, something kind of surrounding that, but it's not to that extent. Um, somebody who's playing with the law against a black person, uh, Amy Cooper, who? A white woman who went viral she should have got checked out by, and you know, I got her. Oh, Amy yeah. Cooper. She wilding, wild out. What she do? Let me check, let's check her out. She called the police on the black man because he told her to leash. No. She could be serving. Oh, man, see, this is that uh, shit, man. We don't need something. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording. Please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. Can I get you to get your phone off? Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. Well, I'm not talking about African American men threatening my life. Yeah, Amy Cooper called the police to falsely report that Christy Cooper. That's you, nigga. That ain't me, nigga. Hey, that's you. That's you. Oh, shit. That's you, cuz. What the fuck? First of all, oh, we didn't put our names. I'm trying to give that man whole government on the on show. Hey, shit. He on, hey, if he on Facebook, just, I mean, unless he puts. <laughs> the funny speech is they call you me. She said that the African American is threatening me. There's an African American man who I attempted to murder. What's she doing? She's a dog. A dog like this, not a green. Somebody need to call the animal people on her. Right. She's talking to the police while she's choking out the goddamn uh, French poop. Yeah. Well, um, that since that incident. Amy Cooper has been fired from her job, and she has come to public. Uh, she has come and publicly apologized to, I guess, America, because that's who seeing her being a dickhead. What's up, Josh? Um, Josh. She, Josh uh, but she lost her job, and 
What's good? Basically, she's a Karen. If you don't know what a Karen is, that is a crazy white woman. Thank you. And she is basically. I love <laughs> She she has she her life is basically going to go pretty much downhill after this. She's going to end up working in a sage shop somewhere in the back of fucking Manhattan because she ain't going to get a real job. But I'm check it out. Listen, yeah, that was animal cruelty, and you heard the dog. Yeah, but guess what? The dog like let's leave that man alone. Okay. That dog was an adopted pet. Since then, she has returned that animal to the a- ASPCA. Thank you, lost her dog. So you lost your job and your dog and your dignity being an asshole, Amy Cooper. But um, check this out. Now this is the wildest part. Christian Cooper is weird. They both had the same last name. Um, you don't think they was married, do you? No, so he was a straight. He was a bird. Watcher. What's up, dude? He hey, was a hey, black man. Hey, 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 hey fuck it. Just, just tell us what happened, cuz. Fuck it. Man. I see what happened was. <laughs> what had happened was. But, but yeah, that's just that's just that's that's I know we don't want everything. Thank you, everybody. If you want to know this man's right. government name, step in. And Don just made sure no. that you knew that. Hey, I'm on I'm on Facebook. You know my name. I don't give a fuck. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, but yeah, still, you follow me on Facebook. My do, 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 summers, do, 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 do what you gotta do. Hey, listen. I'm just saying. Thing. What I'm saying is, you know, we don't just willfully give the information. But anyway, hey, um, so my but life. listen, Christian Cooper has come forth and said he doesn't feel like she should have had that much backlash. That and he's basically said the situation. It had to be resolved and resumed, but he didn't want her life to be destroyed after that. Now, he's been recently on another uh, interview uh, with the uh, live news camera crew in Central Avenue where he was going on about, you know, social injustice, um, you know, police brutality, and he just seemed like he was sickened when he was hard to get through his speech talking about this situation with this woman. This is my point where we go back to the level of support. Okay, you come and put out a viral video of this woman who's obviously called the police in a situation that could have went horribly wrong for this guy. She gets fired, loses her job, she loses her dignity, and she has to stand up for her. And, and then you defend her. He was smashing her. This, <laughs> he was smashing her. He was smashing her, dog. He was some black bird. Hey, but, 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 black bird but do you think she, she should have lost her job? Do y'all think she should have lost her job? No. No, no, I don't think no. she should have lost her job. I don't, I don't think she, she did anything, said, she she did did anything in, in that video for her to lose her job. Now, lose a dog? Yeah. yeah dog and, and she she got got fired. Fired. No, what the fuck is she? She's not calling him a nigga. She called a false claim. And that, 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 nah, that, she that did. Illegal. Yeah, okay, listen. Okay. Nobody's saying false claim. Fired? Fired yeah. that bitch. But she, she's, because that was illegal. She fired the dog. She called the police. What was her job? I forgot. Huh? What was her job? Who, who, we don't I, know I don't know. Job. I mean, I can find out for the job. I'll find no, it. They don't even know her fucking job. She, huh? she ain't got it no more. Who cares what her fucking job <laughs> All right. Yeah. I forgot. We just watched the video. Yeah. She did lie and say the man threatened her. Yeah. Now, what we don't know is what happened before. Is what happened before he hit record. He didn't threaten her. Bro, hey, how do we know that? She came out and said she didn't apologize and even said it herself that she just basically overreacted. Well, so she probably was scared. She seen the motherfucker pop. You know, a lot of people got killed the same pop with a mask on. Hey, hey bitch, okay. put that dog on the leash. She said when Chris began <laughs> offering <laughs> treats, this is a what you, what you this, say? This is Amy's take on it. When Chris began offering treats to my dog and confronted me in an area where there was no one else nearby and said, you You're not you offering got nobody to like what I'm going to do next. I assume we're being threatened. See what it was, she probably thought this nigga's trying to roofie her and the dog. Yeah. So hold up. So we and I ain't know the bad. He, he tried I to get his dog some treats. So it says, "Hey, she said." So what was the state? I am well aware of the pain and the misassumptions and the sensitive statements about race will cause. Would never have imagined that would be involved in my type of incident that occurred with Chris. She's saying that basically. He had her feeling in the sense of that her life was somehow was in danger. So she called the police to let her know that somebody was threatening her and her dog. She mean, was she, yeah, she, she should have worded that. When he said, and now for what you seen was him saying, could you please back away from me? At that point in his video, he has the, he's going to have the burden of proof by law. He proved that he told her visually at that point, and I mean, you heard his voice say, back away from me. At that point, she says, well, I'm calling the police. So at that point, when she could have definitely just put a dog on a leash instead of choking the poor bastard out, I mean the dog. <laughs> she choked him. That dog was fucked up. There's a cat man. Poor bastard. Hey, hey, choked that poor bastard. Hey, hey, Keisha, Keisha said, uh, 
it's another one of a white man who called uh, cops on three black men in the building working out, and he got fired and lost his office space. He said that the black man didn't have uh, the office space there, so they broke in trespassing. So I mean, listen, this is this is another thing. This is another thing where we had to sit back as people and say. I'm not surprised. They've been doing this yeah, shit for years. For years. They've been they've been lying. The black man has been raping the white woman. Will Smith they've been Will. getting hung. They've been they was getting lynched. This shit has been going on since Listen, the test of time. Will man. Smith put out a message that said, Racism has always been here. It's just yeah, now, now it's just being recorded. It's being right. recorded. Yeah. Listen, they lied on Jesus. No, that was Judas. That wasn't everybody. Judas betrayed Jesus. They he said he ain't man. no. They just put him on a cross. That, yeah, that was just some, that was some motherfuckers ain't shit. We know this mother. I mean, people are horrible. Well, some people are. They won't be. You see the way she choked that little dog? Man, she choked the shit out of that dog. The, the dog, dog said, "He the dog trying to tell that nigga this dog." Now what we need to do, what we need to do, is get one of them dog whisperers, right, to interview the dog and find out exactly what that bitch been doing. What she be really into? Yeah, that nigga was trying to go. Yeah. Anytime a white dog with a white woman is trying to escape the white man, that's a white dog. Yeah. 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 Is trying to escape the white the white woman the to run to the black man? The white woman doing some shit. Hey, what's, what's, the, what's the dude Charles? Uh, <laughs> yeah. hey, when you see him, well, the white girl, girl, white girl screaming, trying to run to a black man. Dead giveaway. Yeah. 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 Dead giveaway. <laughs> so when you, so look. When you see a Labrador, you see a French Labrador poodle <laughs> trying to run to the arms of a black man from a white man. Hey, a black man with a mask Dead on. Dead giveaway. <laughs> we need to make a shirt. Dead, Dead. Dead. Dead giveaway. <laughs> hey, don't be trying to steal my ID and hey, yeah. this my shit. Hey, yeah. Amy Cooper, you an asshole. When you got Karen, what you deserve. Karen. 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 Amy huh? Cooper, a.k.a. AKA Karen. Karen. Crazy Karen. You was a dickhead. Fuck your opinion. Fuck your opinion. You can't opinion. You can apologize after the fact. It's all you already got. Hey, hey, hold on. The dude name was Chris Cooper, too? Yes. Hey, I'm just... I'm just I'm I'm saying, that's why I said he probably went on and said what he said. Because he probably was like, damn, that's my cousin on my father's side. Now, he probably was fucking one of her cousins. Oh, my God. Got married right. and took on her name. Now, this is Wendy. Nah, what, if, what if this shit was just an experiment or something? A social how, experiment? See, this social experiment to see how shit, react. how people will react. Yeah, wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be some crazy shit? They went to the... They went to the this is my fucking hey, husband. This is my husband. This is my husband. This is my fucking husband. They went to the park together. Wow. Hey, hey, I and, figured and, that shit out. Hey, it probably was. Hey, 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 and I figured that shit out on Fuck hey, Your Opinion you podcast. Dog got him nasty. Figured that first. shit out. And they fucking married. <laughs> it was a social experiment. If he do that, he is definitely trading. He's done. We're not even trading him. He's giving away. He's cashed. <laughs> We're going to just let his contract. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your shit just is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't right. nuke oh, at this point. Right. Yeah, you, can't, you, can't, you can't even be playing like that right now. Okay, they say. MJ, the famous person in the world. Who do you think? MJ or somebody over top? Of well, you know, we let's, let's put this skip top. We, we, no, we ain't skip top. We do it. Hey, man, we just go into a top. Hey, man, 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 Jump. So I'm that's okay. So 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 I to show this, to show black unity. Oh. Okay, Amy Cooper, you an asshole, and we switch. The next topic is because this is a little bit. I guess you would say this ain't out of the box, but you know you just gonna like we'll try to bring some light, some good. Let's let's bring some light, some good light. Okay. Yeah. In an interview with DJ Vlad Bow Wow, stated that MJ, which means. Michael the Jordan. Goat. Michael Jordan is the one goat. of the is the most famous yeah, person yeah, in the is. world. Yeah. <laughs> 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 live today. Now, no, no, no. He said that it, it was it was a discussion about what, what's my man name? I can't. Vlad. DJ Vlad. DJ Vlad. Vlad. Okay. Vlad was asking a bow wow about his experience growing up because he grew up kind of like in the Jordan household. He was. Uh, he played, played like Mike. I mean, he played well, the but, movie but he like was Marcus Mike. Jordan's best friend. He, he is Michael Jordan's son's best friend. I didn't know that. Right. A lot of people may not know that. They grew up. I didn't know that. Uh, it was a little story where Alan Iverson said he was laying in the floor, sleepover, had his little Alan Iverson sneakers next to him. Jordan picked them joints up, threw the bitches out the room. Was like, get this man, and then turned turned to the sons and said, 
get this little ass some Jordans. You know what I'm saying? In my house with the, with the Allen Iverson's on. <laughs> wow. um, but I mean, like Bow Wow was saying, is that, you know, basically. Marcus Jordan, you talking about? I think it was Marcus, you know what I'm saying? Because Marcus, I didn't know this, Marcus is the only person in the United States that owns a Michael Jordan store. Yeah, the shoe store. The shoe store, yeah. yeah. Which is in Chicago. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, uh, but yeah he's a big, big yeah, in the shoes. He's been he's a, for he's, like, I think three years now. He's yeah. big in the sneakers. He worked yeah. for Nike. He worked under Jordan. I didn't know yeah. this. Well, so right now, um, you know, Bow Wow was just saying that basically, you know, um, I think Vlad or whatever, Vlad, mm -hmm. Vlad, Vlad, Vlad asked him, you know, like, hey, man, do you think yeah. Jordan is the most known Iconic figure in the world, alive, alive, not dead, not past tense. Because he said, Vlad, glad Vlad said that uh, Michael Jackson possibly could have took over, or would have been the most famous person in the world. So my question to today's show was, who do we feel is the most famous living person in today's world? I, I, Donald Trump. I think Trump is the most famous that's, dude in the world. That's uh, that's deep. I mean, he, he gets talked about a lot. <laughs> Don, fuck me up with that. Yeah, <laughs> Every up. once in a while, Don will come out the cut. Do some shit. God, he will come out. He will lay in the cut and come out and fuck you up. If mean? people on this ever had an opinion about what Don Gotti Nash does, fuck your opinion. But there it is. Don Gotti Nash has the meanest curveball. Since Satchel Payne. That was me. Um, <laughs> Damn. <'cause that> was, <laughs> right. Donald yeah. Trump. I was, with Je I was with the MJ at first. When he said that shit, like. Because Vlad's. Vlad. Vlad. Right. Vlad. Vlad. Why can't yeah, I say this? Not, not, hey, 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 get your. Top get, three? Put, 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 your, put your V in there, man. Get your Vlad. 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 Vladimir. Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, I'm just saying, what are those going right? Vladimir Klitschko. What is he? Is he like a foreigner or something? No, he's just a DJ. I he's mean, a culture vulture. He, yeah. Well, if they call him a culture vulture. Actually, he be having motherfuckers snitch on himself on the jump. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> motherfuckers say he'll he a format. Yeah, yeah they yeah, say man. he is, but he do be having motherfuckers talk about shit. He get yeah, them so he does yeah. do anything. Yeah, yeah. Boosie on the jump. But yeah, yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody, 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 everybody shit. That's, what, that's, what, that's where the boozy shit comes from. They just beat him up. Yeah, yeah Rick Ross. Rick Ross, he sued Rick Ross like 300 something thousand. Rick Ross, Rick, Rick, Rick Ross put hands on yes. him. Yeah, they tuned him up. They put hands on him. Rick beat him up or Squad beat him up. Well, you know. You know they, they tuned him up. Tuned him up a little bit. Little uh, tuned, 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 tuned. Uh, no, so um, Vlad basically, uh, no, I think Bow Wow came back with Beyonce. I was like, eh, Beyonce. Shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I'm gonna give a top three. Really? Globally, do you know some people that don't know Beyonce? Because the Beehive fans? No. Hey, well, nah. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, they're the same. If you, the person you don't know that. Now, listen. I know some people that don't know Beyonce. I'm gonna give that to Steph because it might be a 60 year old white person. Beyonce, Michael Jackson. They might not know Beyonce at first, but if you play that song, I guarantee they know. Deep down in Alabama. There's somebody that don't know. You know somebody deep down in Alabama? I do. If you know Steph the Lover and you are deep down in Alabama and you do not know who Beyonce is, please call 240-339-558. Well, call them up because we need to let So you think everybody in the world know who Beyonce is? I mean, it's not that everybody in the world knows, but come on, man. She, I mean, if, if you give it a percentage, I mean, she probably. Uh, okay, question. I don't think Beyonce she, is more famous than LeBron James. That's a good one. Absolutely. Not her ball. No. She might. She might. I, don't, I, I think. I think. LeBron James. Come if you don't know I, that, I, I, I think she is. Because you got niggas. A lot of people don't. I, 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 now listen. I, I, I think she is. Queen B. Queen B. Motherfucker. She Michael Jackson level, bro. Come after me, man. Nah, she might. 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 She all over the world, they recognize this. But a lot of people got turned on to Jay Z, and it's gonna sound stupid because of Beyonce. Whoa! Opposite, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, opposite. No, no, no. No, 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 no. She, she, she has she's definitely. She's put a lot of people on the She's Jay definitely. Oh. He was more street. He was more street. More street black. No, I'm not. I'm not saying she pop. I'm not saying she up. She pop. She was a bad. Listen, she popped. I'm not. He's he, he, he taking it wrong. She gave him. Yeah, a, she, she, she gave him a whole she, different. She made his platform yeah, bigger. Yeah, yeah, she gave him a whole I different. Think, bro. She, she Michael Jackson, bro. She, she was a country band. She she Michael Jackson. You know, I think what Jay Z did just rap. 
Just you got the RB to cut And I'm listen, and what I'm saying is I agree with you because I've literally seen with my eyes news reporters, I've seen people on not social media in the streets, I mean like on a certain level, say out their mouths in the entertainment business that they did not know who Jay Z was until Beyonce came along. Even people on Fox because that pop culture is they don't know about okay, so just like people don't know who Jay Z is, right? Because they don't listen to rap. There's people out here that don't listen to R and B and don't know who the she's hot. She's hot, bro. She's hot. She's not. She's not just R and B. You she gotta understand, understand, how, you gotta understand how many rap songs she's been on before she got with Jay Z. I ain't not gonna do it. No, but listen, some people don't listen to rap songs. Listen, but her music, she's pop. Is, is on a different. All she does, she's pop. She's she, nah, 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 she not, not even R and B. She no, not even. She's not taking away from her. I mean, listen, no, listen, step that move that way a little bit. Cause be high about the country. Hey, listen, step. What I'm saying is the level of Don. What Don is saying about pop music is her music is exposed to so many people on different levels, like Britney Spears. Beyonce is top three. She's a bigger artist than Jay Z, bro. I'm not saying she's no, not. She's not the most yeah. most recognizable person. Yeah, I is. never, I give her that top three. Oh yeah. no, I give her. Besides, top three. not a top three, a top five. Because like you said, you go to Oprah Winfrey, you got Donald Trump, you got MJ. All right, Oprah Winfrey. So, so, so I give Beyonce top five. Oprah but listen, Beyonce. it was a situation in Oprah. The nah. people, it was a situation in France where someone nah. didn't know Oprah, nah. so they nah. didn't let them know. Beyonce over Oprah, bro. Beyonce is. I, I, I got Beyonce. What Dan just said is true. Listen, then I might have to oh, no, Listen, there was a situation where Oprah Winfrey went to a purse store. You're right, and they didn't know who she was. I knows. guarantee there's places and in this world friend. you can take Beyonce without her entourage. Maybe third world. Drop yeah. her off and and put her in a store, and, and people are going to know. Maybe the things. third world. Maybe a third world. world. It's, not, it's, not, it's not that everybody knows this in America. America. It's, it's, it's the it's, it's, now, it's now, the percentage. It's the cup. It's the it's like it's like the cell phone is covered. Her coverage is yeah, her coverage game is there's, there's some places in America. in America. She dropped somewhere. So, the, hey, 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 the cell service dropped somewhere. I mean it's gotta drop somewhere, but I, I guarantee you her shit is her shit is on the Verizon oh, level. Be out of yeah, bro, listen. <laughs> hey, if you don't stop talking about the that, be yeah. Be high. I didn't say anything bad, okay? <laughs> okay, Michael don't Jordan put the killer bees now, on me. Michael Jordan, because he's had pop and entertainment fame. That he may have me be. I might put him on. Only reason I say Donald oh, Trump. Donald Trump. I got Donald. Of yeah. him at the. A lot of people. Uh, uh, at, Donald or Oh, oh, oh. Let's not forget about Obama. Obama. For, be, for, I mean, being, a, yeah. for being the president. For being that the shit, that, president. That, that, okay, that shit takes shit. Yeah. Obama. Obama, Obama takes you. Okay. Obama Obama takes you. If, if, we takes in, if we throw in politics and president. Because you know one Obama. thing. You know one thing. There's a lot of motherfuckers that out there. That he was No, no, listen. They might not even know that man name. They said that goddamn Muslim president, they think the man Muslim. He's not Muslim. Listen, right? The only reason, now, like I said, no, if you go through right fame, in. yeah. Oh, you only can, you gotta restart. You only can do yeah. it for an hour. Uh, it always do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You only can, you only but, do um, hour on so, my vote is for Barack. That's what I got. Yeah, yeah. So, you got Barack Obama's being the number one most famous person alive in the world. Yeah. I got. It. I mean, if we if oh, we do a president, or if we do a president, because no, he's, no, 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 because he's the president of the United States, so his platform is going to be on every television, on every so track, and every country. Let's do a top five then. Nah, two, that's too much. Top three. Obama. Top three. As you, as you. Obama, Donald Trump, and I give it to Michael Jordan. He ain't even got. He ain't even oh got no! Alive. That's my yeah, alive, alive, alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he, Donald he, he, Trump. I don't Trump. give. I don't give. I want to put him with MJ in because a lot of people. I don't think he in it. I don't, the reason, reason I don't think he in it because a lot of people don't watch basketball. I think he don't watch. I think even his I think even his documentary helps. You must look at it this help way. Do, help Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. I, I think this documentary helped introduce him to a, a, another I'm generation. Yeah, yeah, but listen, what we saying is across the world. When I'm saying, when you say world, you have to look. Michael Jordan not just didn't do sports. He went into pop culture. And, and, and like to want to be like Mike, yep. selling McDonald's, the, Gatorade, Olympic shoes. games. A lot There's of people shit. that might not even know the dude played basketball. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. know that he yeah. he had something to do with losing. I mean, it, yo, dog, everybody it, it, wants to be it, like. It's, it's some, I mean, we had this discussion. It's some soccer motherfuckers that that that, that got some some popularity too. Listen, listen, what I'm saying is, but we talk about the most recognized. Recognized. So who's your who's your top three? We got got it. Beyonce. Um, you doing that because for your wife? I mean, in the bi. No, Beyonce Donald, is Don, though. Don, Donald Trump, definitely mm-hmm. Donald Trump. Um, Beyonce, and the third one I got. I got to think about the third one. 
Because I'm, I'm not sure if it's MJ, man. Beyonce got the whole continent. Hey, I'm gonna tell you another motherfucker we actually not even talking about. Tiger Woods is 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 is, 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 is Tiger mean, Woods. Matter of fact, matter of fact, too. matter of fact, I'm gonna throw Tiger Woods. Kevin Hart. Nah. He done sold out. No, listen. Hey, 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 cut, cut his mic, cut, cut his mic, cut this dude mic. This nigga tried to introduce the topic. Well, this is what I mean. And he said Kevin Hart. Listen, this is what I mean. Did he say it? Because in certain countries, certain countries, yes. But what I'm saying, when you say globally, the funniest comedian. When you say, I don't think it's funny. It's certain people like now. We got. Don't forget, Kevin Hart has traveled the globe doing comedy shows. Sold out a lot. Of hey, a lot of places. He, he's the most pop. He, he could be the most popular, but honestly, man, Seinfeld might 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 definitely probably can take uh, you him got out. Google, right? Yeah, Seinfeld probably can take him out on popularity. You got Google? Yeah. Google. Who is the who is the most famous person alive in the in the world right now? That's how. Let, let's see what it's saying. What you think, young fella? I don't know who my. He always his hands. Stone Stone I mean, Tony Stark. Tony Stark, I like that. Cut, cut his mic. Cut his mic. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Robert Downey Jr. Uh, is Iron Man. Because don't forget, these people travel the don't, entire don't, don't, world. Don't, don't cut your mic, nigga. <laughs> this, you're about to lose your I'm mic. I'm going to tell you guys. Hey, 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 let me, let me tell you something. Hey, CJ, hey. don't fuck with this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you sit up, man. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you which, when you don't really look, when you look at somebody globally, you gotta understand when they release movies, yeah, they, they go, go, they go literally around the entire world and premiere movies. countries and all of that. So when you be like, oh, they don't know him there, best believe. Okay, how about uh, how about this one, Mike Tyson? <laughs> yeah. You think you think everybody know about Mike Tyson? Man, that nigga that just go to yeah. Bangkok, right? That nigga put a tattoo on his face. That shit was knocked out a tiger one time. No, he ain't not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Michael Jackson would have been the, the, yeah. number one, no. hands down. He probably still is, actually. I mean, yeah. even, okay, though, even, even in death. What, what, Listen, what the this oh, says, uh, this says The Rock. Somebody said The Rock. That's nah, I didn't say The Rock. But the, you, you didn't say him in this conversation. The Rock is him. the most famous person you, you, in the world. You, he became... You want him to speak. You want him to be, like, the leader. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Hey, he famous he said, <laughs> The number one person is The Rock. Is the one, number one The Rock. Damn, okay. Hey. Hey. Number two, Will Smith. Number three, Donald Trump. Number four, Michael Jackson. Number five, Drake. Hey, that source. I, I seen that actually. That source ain't. ain't yeah, I, this is I, all I, I, entertainers. Yeah, that one don't even got Beyonce in the top ten, bro. Will Will over on um, Beyonce? Yes. Nah, nah. I'm taking Will over Beyonce. Nah, yo. Yeah, that, but that, that, Will number two fuck me up. I, I can't. Not, I can't. Yeah, he yeah. is. He is. I mean, like I said, now always remember this. Will was two. When you talk about the rock, had him two on that. No, did. Yeah, he did. He did. Yeah, yeah, he's two. He ain't two. What I'm saying is always remember. I'm looking left. Even Tom Cruise, listen, always remember, when they do movie premieres, they travel from Bangkok all the way to New York City. They go to every country in the world and the premiere. They're released everywhere. Right, and that's before it even hits America. So a lot of times, people that we think say. people don't know, they know. So um, we thought about uh, this sister says The Rock. My thing is, I got Barack Obama over everybody. Kim, uh, Kim, she said Kim K, man. Kim K. You know what? Uh, Keisha, 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 uh, Kim K is pretty popular right now. Bro. She is, but for the booty. Uh, no, I, I would ask Old Savage to ask his top three, but I think we cut his mic, didn't we? Yeah, I, I can't hear him. Three, my top three. Well, we cut your mic, nigga. Hey, speak, that, speak up. I can't hear you. I can't hear you, cuz. My top three, man. This mic's not on, y'all. Can y'all? Is this mic on? It will be. Hello? <laughs> no. Hello? I'm back over. I'm fucking with the Beyonce, though. This, Beyonce yeah. to Obama. Watch the nigga say something about like Bootsy. And, nah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't be fucking with Bootsy. Bootsy ain't his name out there. Don't be fucking with Bootsy. He ain't no top three. Hey, look. He gonna say like a DC rapper or some shit. All right, so Who you got? Who you got? I think about my top three. You, you, what are you even thinking, nigga? We just no, I just said I go with the Beyonce and Obama. Okay. You got top Donald three? Trump. Donald Trump is one of the most recognizable dickheads. But between him and Oprah. Why you got to be a dickhead? Because he, I mean, I mean he he is. Is. Between him and Oprah. Like him and Oprah, because they didn't go right around the top, same time. All right, let me give you my top three. Nah, I mean, not really. My top three, I was leaning towards The Rock. Will Ferrell, 
No. Oh shit! Cut his mic! Cut his mic! Cut his mic! I'm the only one on the joint. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I got him no. Nash. No. 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 <laughs> Top three. I, I had to say Michael Jordan. Um, Michael Jordan, Oprah Winfrey, and cut his mic. Donald Trump. Cut his mic. Or Obama. Obama is one of them. This nigga put. How y'all heard that? He put. Cut this nigga mic. Donald Trump or Obama. Y'all hear this man? I mean, Donald, Donald Trump is the most talked about oh, yeah. figure and, and, in the and world. He was at, and he was actually pretty popular before he yeah, was before president. He president. Yeah. That's why I yeah. said. Yeah. Cause see, this is the thing about Donald Trump. But the president put you just on some other yeah. shit. Yeah. And, then as, but, and, then, and as much as we talk about him, oh my God. When, when he became president, motherfucker was like, did they elect that motherfucker to be president? He was already doing what I know. So the you fired. The nigga from the little rascal. Yeah. He was the father in the stand. This motherfucker. That's why I knew him from. Like, who the fuck? Hey, I, I know the nigga from WrestleMania four, yo. They, Trump Towers, yo. They had the they had the tournament at Trump Towers. That's like that's exactly. how I, that's where I know the nigga I from. Know from the little rap. And he got his and he got you know, stunned and he got stunned on um, Mike wrestling. Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. 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 Yeah, he got yeah he got stunned. he stunned the shit out of him. But yeah, Mike Tyson to me because he used to always fight. Well, I mean, you know, I, Trump, I think Trump, every, yeah, that shit. I think say. everybody's shit was pretty good. Some of his. All right. So, oh, 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 Trinidad James. Trinidad James. Cut. Hey, 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 cut her mic. Is there, is there, is there, is there a mic on? Oh, or should we delete this? Wait, 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 wait. What was it? Kirk Cobain. Hey, and I want to, and I want to pass. Kirk Cobain. Kirk Cobain. Hey, he got some good music. I don't even know who Kirk Cobain is. This is this is Dan's wife that said that. Since y'all won, your mic is cut too. Yeah, since that's your that's your wife, Dan. Damn it, baby, you got my mic. I was through the segment. I was going to the next segment. And she says, I lost me, Trinidad James. I was hanging on. Wait a minute, is Trinidad James related to LeBron James? Trinidad <laughs> <laughs> uh, James was a hey, white hit wonder. Hey, baby, that's your opinion. But you got my string cut. I was glad. <laughs> I was like surviving. We said, Trey, you hold on by the last one. That's what I'm saying. Oh, man. All right, so on to our next topic, right? Jesus. It was a man. She said, just kidding, motherfucker. I'm going to go up there Yeah, we don't believe that. We don't believe that. That's how it is. I'm surprised. Hey, listen, I'm surprised old uh, Fernandez ain't hey, coming step, in and said, uh, 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 Takashi. <laughs> hey, he been big though. He been hey, he did break the internet. He internet. broke the internet. So, um, okay, it was a man in Colorado Springs whose wife passed away in a car crash. Rest in peace. They, or him, meaning him and his fiance, his wife, mm-hmm. they put down a deposit on um wait for a wedding. How much was it? Reception. I think it was like eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars, something like that. You worry about how much it was? Um eighteen hundred dollars deposit um for a wedding oh, I'm sorry for wedding videography and photography company. Okay. Okay, they paid them eighteen hundred dollars. Wife died in a car crash. Uh-huh. He goes back and he tries to get his deposit from the photograph and videograph uh company and they told him we don't get refunds. Okay. Non refundable. So after them going back and forth on the social on you know social media and whatever, they basically put a little air quote on their uh, page saying, uh, "Life's a bitch." Uh, what do you say? Life's a bitch. Sorry, John. Um, basically, yeah, they fucking with they, they actually the make, they, they making the mockery of, of the white meme. Okay, the, the way, way. I, I was I was waiting for a minute to that last part because like you put a deposit on something for whatever reason don't have it. They're not entitled to give you money. They says they could have did it. Uh, yeah, they're not entitled to give it back. But then when you make fun of it, it says, "Listen." So, it, so, 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 do you take the refund, or do you, or, some, or, 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 or somebody got to get hands? Oh, somebody, somebody, so somebody, 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 somebody got. Somebody gets balls. <laughs> the worst thing about I think, it is, I think that's an ass. Yeah, woman, yeah, bro. I, I, I don't even want no money. That's an ass woman. That's eighteen thousand dollars worth of. They get hundred. It's an ass woman. I'm going to jail. The worst part about it is he's in Colorado, but the company is in Texas, Dallas, Texas. He, he wanted to fly. So he got to fly. Drive to hey, Texas. hey, you just going there and you just hoping the, the first motherfucker you see ain't, ain't Shaq. Fuck Fuck Texas. Texas. No, you're going it's to Dallas, Texas. They're going to Steve Austin. You just hoping the first motherfucker. Oh, God damn it. Damn. 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 Damn.
we talking about Texas. They're going to be strapped. You yeah, going yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. to yeah, 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 yeah. talk about yeah, yeah, yeah. Colorado Talk-ass shit. Bullshit. They strapped. We what you Texas. say, Dallas? Dallas, Texas, they're going to pull it. It's going to be all kinds of artillery coming out. Yeah, that's that's, that's yeah. definitely a lawsuit coming up. Bro. I mean, but listen, they have a thing, a marquee on their page that just says non refundable I'm not talking about the refundable thing. I'm talking about just making fun of. Yeah, they put on the SMS. Listen, listen. It said, due to circumstances, circumstances, life's a bitch. I don't, I don't even want to. I don't even want to defend this company. I don't even want to say, say yeah. maybe they were somebody. This. Somebody got get dang. Somebody, somebody, somebody get hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, know, most definitely, I want to know who put the motherfucking quota. Man, what? Yeah. Who okayed it? Yeah. Cause you, because you, you basically gonna have to. You, you basically, me, you my basically, cousin and them, we down and there. my brother, we down. We going down there. You, you basically gonna have to go out there. Yeah, the first people you see, the, 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 the first people you see, because you ain't gonna get. The like we, you you better not be a customer in the store that day, because you might get this yeah. off. We already gonna have lawyer money and bail money ready. So listen, the name of the company is called. Um, <laughs> Copper <laughs> Stallion Media, because you know people gotta know because they might do business with these people and they might be fucked up. Copper what? Copper Stallion Media. That's, That's the name. C O P P E R. Right? Cause sound like a porn. That sound company. like some shit. You just, you, you get, just you, don't, you, you don't even want to go into business. You sent your eighteen hundred dollar wedding to wedding Copper video Stallion? to Copper Stallion Media. That sounds like a porn. That sound right? like some shit. You don't want your wife to be a part of. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. man. You don't. You might get crap. But but listen, listen. You know, that's just fucked up. Rest in peace for one. I mean, yeah. that's some horrible yeah. shit. And you would think, you know, as a business owner, I have a couple of businesses myself. And you at least tell donations. For I mean, goddamn, yeah. Like, you I mean, did something to raise the money for them back. I mean, buy the buy the man, a, fly them in and buy them a, a send them. A, did they even play party and send them off? They just put. They said we're non-refundable and put a caption on their website that says, "Sorry, Justin, life to be." Now, let's, so they put his name on. Listen, listen. They said, "Life to be." This is what we need to know. Justin. This is what we need to know. What all transpired into their going back and forth? Because he kept emailing and going on social media, blasting the company, demanding his refund. They kept telling him, we're not giving you a refund. So they, they should have just left it at that. And so that. when he went to another platform and blasted off on them, then their response on their website was, sorry, Life's, Justin. Life's 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 they, they don't understand how they just fucked up their business. Like, people look at it. Like, how we look at it, we get offensive about it. But see, this is the thing, this is the thing, because... Unfortunately, in this crazy world, we people still, go there. We'll people we'll still go. will spend money if they're satisfied with, the, with your, your, the your past product or your past work. Um, unfortunately, that's the fucking world we live in. Pride comes before the fall. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, they get hands on them, though. Yeah, hey, oh, we're putting yeah, paws exactly. on them. If you're going to Texas, you better come with some big paws. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, going, you, you got to jump off the plane listen. and call your people in Texas. Listen, one thing I know about, and, you know, I know Texas really uh, is. It, is it considered the South? No. Hell yeah! Is it the South? Yeah. Southwest. 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 Man. One thing I know about the South, because like I said, I lived in Spartanburg, which is down south. And when you see them rednecks driving in them pickup trucks, they, they, they got twenty four feet right, off the floor. They got the rifles in the windows and shit, right? Man, what? Just a quick story. Me and Lorenzo was at a gas station. Went oh go go low. Was at a gas station one day. And uh, Redneck was looking at us, and you know, Reynolds, though, he's a hot head, you know what I'm saying, back in the day, not saying he is now, but don't, he has road rage anyway, but uh, Reynolds looked over at the motherfucking old Redneck dude, what the fuck you looking at? Redneck said, very nice. I know one thing, I'm somebody you ought not to fuck with. <laughs> and as he said that to us, his arm was right there leaning on that motherfucking rifle in the back of that window. And I'd seen that right I said, Lorenzo, get on in the motherfucking truck, bro. It's you got to know when to hold him. You got to know when to hold him. And know when to fold him. Know when to fold him. Damn right. I mean, listen, and, and we ain't saying take no cop or wood nickels from nobody, but that's shit how I got to go. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, uh, but yeah, you got know what? Some misinfo. Uh, copper style, your media, fuck your opinion. You that was some wrong shit, man. Get that man back, cause his wife dead. You gonna take yeah, the video? Oh, I said they could at least you know, take the report, video. Responded to him and gave him a refund. They could at least did something to where as though they did a, a charity event for him to where as though. You they might, no, no, no social media ain't no they, damn. But, but if you think if you come at it as a business thing for good business, they would have took. I mean, the anything you could say. Look, we'll do some stuff. We'll make a nice. <laughs> Package or something for your wife for you to show it the view in or we'll help well, you. I'm saying, if you were looking at the business, if you would have did a, 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 a fundraiser for them, it would have popped your business more, seeing that you, even though you don't give the deposits back, 
we still care about our customers. Well, see the thing about yeah, it, fundraiser. That means people are gonna be giving you money so you can give it to somebody. Like, like, like right now, they got the GoFundMe page. They, they could have started a GoFundMe yeah. page. If your business is jumping, that's gonna bring people in. Like, look, this is a customer that. Yeah, but then around. people gonna look at it like, well, won't you just give them back the fucking refund? Hey, listen. Fact of the matter is, man, that the world we live in, when you up. do when you do great business, people will support you. They love you. They follow you. You don't have to answer to nobody. When you're a business, you do what you want to do. And if, and, and, and if you don't like it, fuck your opinion. Fuck your opinion. That's that's, that's I mean. Um, real quick, man. Listen. Um, before we play the song, uh, you know, to everybody that's sick, going through it, man. We hope you get better. We want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, That's we it. Got one thing too. Porn hub. We got some porn sites. Happy birthday, Sophie. Happy. I was like, I just. I was about to say that. Yeah. That's my little cousin. Happy birthday, man. Yeah, I thought we muted this dude. Nah, I'm getting muted. Yeah, my little cousin Sophia, our cousin, our family turned five today. Uh, we love you. Happy uh, birthday. She had a little coronavirus, a little birthday, a Zoom thing. Um, and uh, we love you, man. We, we happy birthday to you. Amy Ted, y'all did a real good job today. I wish we could. I wish I could have been there, but you know it is what it is. But for everybody dealing with this shit, man, you know hopefully it gets better. Um, hey, ne- hey, before you, before you finish, hey, our next show we're gonna play. We're gonna play some of our son's music, man. So we that, that's what that's what we doing next show, man. We're gonna play little step. Yes, Little Dom, we gonna okay. that's, that's what we doing next get, show. Get Raymond, so we, so, get, so, get, so, get Raymond, so, so get it's, Raymond shit. So 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 it's fa- it's it, so so it's so it's family only next 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 show, man. Next week we gonna. Um, right, we, we, we gonna, gonna what show? It's gonna be on uh, Taco um, Tuesday or probably Thursday. Yeah, we'll probably put no, it on Thursday. Yeah. Well, fuck your opinion. Okay, yeah. I'm just, you well, know, because when people tune in, we wanna know what they gonna when they're gonna tune in. Definitely. And hopefully I'm in town. I'm I might take a little vacation next day to go. You know, keep the kids single again, so, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ain't even get that. First of all, we can't be throwing all that single stuff like that. When I try to throw my single shit out there, you shut it down. It's all in love. No, 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 I couldn't talk about my single shit. I wanted to do poetry for the girls and all that. We're not doing poetry, bro. We're not doing poetry, bro. You get your own podcast, How would that look? Coming Sundays, I'm about to give me a podcast. Yeah, Sunday Poetry Live with Savage Taz. You're going to bring the sage. And it's going to be called Desperate. Rato. Yeah, you know, like tune into them and keep tuning in because we always gonna be here talking about the toughest topics, reporting about everything going on now, today, past history. We're gonna give you science, we're gonna give you the whole fucking breakdown. It's fuck your opinion. Um, we always come live. And look, I want anybody who's watching this or wants to get aired. We are not saying, as a group, that we completely advocate for violence against anyone. No, but when it gets to a point where violence is constantly being brought to a certain uh, people, we're not going to stand you, it's, for it. Uh, stand wild, for it's not right. It's called. It's not called defiance. It's called defense. So you know, Facts. think about that. You know, what I'm saying we love everyone for tuning in, and hey, we're you. gonna ride out to this uh, Will remix. If, you, if anybody has not seen the original video. Checking out, it's our man Joyner Lucas. We don't know the dude, but we fuck with the dude. Hey, and jo- Joyner Lucas, very respect. talented. Cause, cause and this was a pr- produced by um my, my, my man from DC, Craig Lucas. Craig Lucas, and, and he's doing Craig Lucas hey, is doing big things. And, and Joyner Lucas, if you don't know, listen to his music. I wonder man. Cousins. Do. I don't know if they cut. I mean, if we just, uh, we just, uh, hey, 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 your names we, is. We were counting a lot of last names. Now we got two names. Um, but real quick, check out the first video that uh Joyner Lucas did called Will. Where he pays homage to, to Will Smith, who he looked up to. I looked up to Will, so we, we all looked up to Will growing up. Amazing Fresh video. Prince. The dude is amazing. Will is amazing. Check out the, the first video. Amazing. But then also check out this song we're about to play again. It is the remix that Will did with, of course, Crank Lucas Production. Joyner Lucas, original song he remixed it. Check it out. Well, he, he produced both. That's the same beat. So, well, so he yeah, produced yeah. both of them. Right. Let's try the health club. Can head to the little commercial. commercial. Uh, little commercial. Commercial, commercial. You can't show shit without commercial now, baby. This is a crack too, Jack. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. I had to stop. So fuck your opinion. Feeling like me? I feel like a prince that turned to a king. Found me a queen. Started.
started a family and got me a team on top of my dreams. Joiner, I knew you was fired by me like I was inspired by Nelson Mandela. I give him a rose for every endeavor, but shout out to Julia Serving. One of the legends of worship. Muhammad Ali went to work and he was the champ, the greatest he earned. I love that you think that I'm perfect, but I had plenty of mistakes and burgers. My grandma thought I was burger, she always got to be when I was searching. I wouldn't be me if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't be Willie, I couldn't be me if there wasn't no any. I wouldn't be Willie if I wasn't for Billy. Nothing much that you really can tell me. Willie been close since Benny and Jerry. Must have forgotten that I really get busy. Then I forgot who and Benny get jiggy. Hey, hey, Back before there was streaming sales, way before all the iTunes and the fans had to get seats. Still, 60 million records sold, I was on fire. I ain't even need a grill. Did it all with no cuss words. I ain't had to curse just to keep it real. Me and Jazz in the late eights, writing rhymes, big tapes daily. Fresh Prince make the fans crazy. Rest in peace to James Avery. Even That's when the streets good. call me corny, I still ain't never let the hate break me. I just wanted to respect first. I still ain't never let the fame change me. New me, but I'm old school. Make with on the pro Still fresh and so smooth. I still got on my old shoes. I can jay to 1,000 kisses. Ain't nothing cheap since so too. Martin Lawrence get a rose too. He elected that I go too. Man, I love how you break the rules. Pushing limits and you make it cool. Join the Lucas, what made the lose? You a legend and I make it too. What a beauty, my life's a movie. I swear I'm only on tape too. All my kids turned out great. And I know your son gonna be great too. Break by break. Building a wall that no one could break. Flip by flip. Glad I can help so you could be straight and Yo, a trip, but who could you don't know who that is That is, that we got a young man in the building That is the great Will Smith Fresh Prince of Bel-Air The, uh, in Billy Black If you don't know who Will Smith is He's laying right there He is one of the goats in his life If he can't rap He better than some of your favorite artists right now He, yeah, he, listen He's better than some of your artists right now Listen, that one, listen Music, I would say listen, but as someone who listens to lyrics, never take away content because somebody is accustomed to talking about something that you cannot relate to. Music, poetry, as my man Taz said, is a way for you to be outlet. It's an outlet. It's a way for, for people to understand and bridge a gap. So don't be like, well, he ain't talking about the lean. He ain't talking about Perfect. busting the guns. He ain't talking about the the and the So Will Smith the ain't, on my, ain't on my level. Most people are out here in the game, in entertainment, trying to aspire, especially as black men, to the level that this man has accomplished. So, respect.